Cardano holders, this is not good. And I preface this by saying I'm a huge Cardano holder, and that's not going to change anytime soon. I'm a huge proponent of Cardano. I've been an investor in Cardano since 2020, and right now that's not going to change. But it also doesn't mean that I, you know, don't get frustrated at times with what happens on the Cardano network and really with what doesn't happen on the Cardano network. Now, recently this article came out. I read it this morning and I kind of battled if I wanted to make a video or not. And again, I want to say this because I'm not someone who just hypes everything up, everything that I'm invested in. Sometimes I get frustrated and I've had, I've made frustrated videos about all a lot of other currencies, including Cardano in the past. And this one really irritates me. And listen, Cardano, Charles Hoskinson, developers, they have time to figure this out. We're still early, early days in crypto. But come on. I mean, why is the Cardano network facing a problem where their swaps are taking 30 minutes to complete? Now, we all know Cardano was meant to be the Ethereum killer. And it hasn't been around as long as Ethereum. And we know that narrative is kind of, you know, gone by the wayside. We know that it's different than Ethereum. I'm invested in Ethereum for much different reasons than I am invested in Cardano. By the way, my top three holdings right now, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. There's a big gap, though, from Ethereum to Cardano. But the reality right now is much different. And listen, Cardano has time to make this right. They do. But it's a lot different from what was promised. And I get it. Things take time. Uh, you know, things get delayed, but there's no question that Cardano's blockchain has not come along as fast as we would have hoped, as fast as we would have uh, liked. Sorry, I almost ate the mic there. Sorry about that. Uh, but with a small group of nodes right now controlling the entire network, Cardano's blockchain is pretty highly centralized. Uh, you know, Cardano's pretty vulnerable to targeted attacks, even though we haven't seen a lot of those. And... Well, I think this could all get better, and I think it will get better. It's just articles like this that I read that make me frustrated. I mean, how in the heck does this happen? Taking up to 30 minutes, right? Now, here's the good thing. We have seen adoption with Cardano. We have seen TVL with Cardano rise, right? And that's all good. That is all good, right? But the smart contract platform that has been developed by Charles Hoskinson is facing a big issue here. You cannot have a swap that takes up to 30 minutes. And here's, you know, here's the biggest issue, I think. This thing is supposed to be super, super fast, right? Super, super fast. It's supposed to be super fast, right? Theoretically handling up to a staggering 1 million transactions per second. That's the goal here. That's where they want to get to. Well, if that's where they want to get to, We've got to make some changes. We've got to make some changes. And I hope that we can get there, okay? Now, let me minimize this a little bit, and I'm going to take you through just a couple of these little points here. But uh, a key factor in the blockchain's network success is its transaction processing speed. The touted 1 million TPS promised position Cardano as a potential game changer in the industry. And listen, they still have time to do this. In practice, however, reaching such a performance benchmark appears to be very challenging so far. The current transaction delays highlight a stark contrast between Cardano's theoretical capabilities and its practical application. And I get it. I mean, things take time with tech. And I'm not a tech person, but I understand that much. But the issue is causing a significant stir amongst Cardano users, with many suggesting a shift in liquidity toward another swap, a DEX on the Cardano network which has managed to maintain faster transaction speeds, providing a more efficient and user-friendly service amid the network's issue. It is worth noting that the issue is not with any exchange in particular, but with the network upon which it operates on. As such, even as users gravitate towards another swap for its relative speed, the overall problem persists and should be addressed at a network level as a uh, since the decentralized exchange has simply optimized the existing technology. And I do think this will be on the leader, Charles Hoskinson's radar. I do. And I think they'll look at this and take it very seriously. But you can't have these sort of things happen, right? And it's just a bad look. So I hope that they can resolve this, and I hope we start moving 
at a little bit of a faster clip. And I have patience. I'm not going anywhere with Cardano. I'm playing the long game here because their vision is huge. But there are a lot of other protocols out there that I'm also invested in. I'm not going all in here on Cardano. I'm hedging my bets. I'm hedging my bets. I'm looking uh, even to invest more in HBAR. I'm invested heavily in some other protocols as well, but HBAR is one that I've really looked at long and hard. Algorand is another one. So that is what I've got for you guys in this video. Let me know what you guys think about all this down below. We'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe right here to the channel. Take care. Bye-bye.